Good afternoon everyone, this is JB of Let's Gulong Pare and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Tire Philippines. I am Dr. Tire Philippines. Now, um, today is January 6, 2022. This will be the first video for the year 2022. And um, I'm surprised that uh, our Facebook uh, page, Let's Gulong Pare Kalamans, Tungkol sa Gulong by Dr. Tire PH is getting popular and I've been receiving a lot of inquiries regarding the tire. Unfortunately, uh, let me tell everyone, I am not selling a tire. I am just here to inform you guys about the tire technicals and tire safety tips. Now, let me answer one inquiry in particular that a person just sent me. And I'm not going to mention his name for privacy. He asked me, is there is there such thing as a bad air and a good air when it comes to tires okay and a follow-up question was asked as well um kapag meron bang bad air and good air should i remove all the bad air and reinflate using the good air okay let me answer and define first what is a good air a good air in tire inflation is simply non-flammable dry air that is good air now, what is a bad air when it comes to tire inflation? Um, bad air would be also called as wet air or an, your air that has high moisture in it. Okay, high moisture content in it. That is considered to be bad air. So, how do you get bad air? Pano? So, well, uh, bad air can be introduced to your tire if your source it could be from a dealer shop a service center or a gas station are not keen in maintaining their equipment especially the water separator of their air compressor so if it is if it's not working well water would not be separated effectively and it could be um, introduced to your tire when you inflate okay now another reason is that um, Kapag kahit naman maintain, well maintain sila, if they don't practice practice the uh, the regular draining of their air tanks um, in a high in in a country a tropical country like us where in the atmosphere would have high humidity, you have to always or perhaps I tell customers in dealer shops to drain their air tanks thrice in a day, three times in a day. Uh, before before they open or use their uh, air compressor in the middle of the day 12 noon and before they close they have to drain it so if they don't practice that um, air with uh, wet, wet air can be introduced to your tire again okay now ano bang epekto pag lagi kang gumagamit ng um, if you're always going to be inflating using bad air or wet air what would happen to your tire okay before before we talk about what would happen, um, let me talk about the nature of the inner liner. So, the inner liner is the smooth or rib rubber that you you'd see inside a tubeless tire, or um, this could also be the inner tube, the one that you see. Uh, yung, yung natin salbabida nun, uh, ng mga bata tayo, yung kulay itim na may pitong bronze. So those are uh, the, those are the material used for inner liner or inner tubes. Okay, for for a tubeless tire, okay, it's inner liner. Now these rubbers are made of butyl rubber, and um, they were designed to be very airtight. Okay, however, each manufacturer would have a patented design wherein they would have different properties and different uh, permeability. Okay, when I say permeability, it's the um, um not all inner liners are created equal wherein others would let air out the nature the peculiarity of this butyl rubber is it's not as perfect as we think it's not as airtight as we think it lets out some air molecules that's the permeability i was talking about that's the reason why we lose air even if we don't have any tire injuries cuts or punctures or our wheels are not cracked or our pito or valves are working well kahit yan maayos bakit tayo nawawala ng pressure like um, 1 psi per, per week 1 psi per month because of that peculiarity of design of the butyl rubber now water would not be cannot be absorbed directly by the inner liner 
However, okay, as um, the water uh, settles inside your tire, as it heats up, it evaporates. Okay, it becomes water vapor. And that water vapor can pass through uh, the inner liner and goes directly to your ply systems. Yung steel belts mo or yung belts mo above and from the inside going above to your thread plies okay so the water vapor can pass through remember it's a closed system so water sa nung ininflate mo may tubig and then habang ginagamit mo uminit nag evaporate nagiging water vapor and then as you it becomes water vapor it can now pass through your inner liner now if it condenses or you stop operating or lumamig na siya it now becomes it, it would condense and in and, and the problem there it condenses inside the ply systems so if moisture will be introduced in your ply system or your thread uh, thread belts or thread plies um, it corrodes the components inside it actually starts to oxidize the thread plies wherein the next result will be the separation among among the products. This is the reason that some consumers would think, "Ay, oblong na yung gulong ko." But the 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 very reason for that was the the deform the, the that deformation was caused because of the uh, separation of the thread plies. Okay, so if the separation occurs eventually, as you use it or continue to use the tire, it would rupture and it would lead to premature removal. So that's the effect of your bad air. Okay. Now, um, to answer you for the follow-up question, should I remove all the bad air and reinflate with the good air? Of course, you have to remove the bad air and reinflate. And I hope it's not too late. Okay. I hope it's not too late. Also, if uh, may mga instances din kasi na um if you have repairs on your tires okay and it's not as uh they are considered to be faulty repairs you may mga patches sa loob so if uh air if you're if you're inflating with wet air um ito mas mabilis yung introduction ng air and moisture doon sa ply systems mo through that injury with a faulty repair so it happens okay so as you can see in the background you'd see you'd be able to see oxidized or rusted cables okay this will happen to you this will happen if you continue to inflate with bad air now i hope you guys learned from this um, video good air and bad air again um if you want to know more about tire technicals and tire safety tips just like and subscribe to my youtube channel dr tire philippines uh, and also we have facebook page uh, let's gulong pare kaalaman tungkol sa gulong by dr tire ph um, i want you guys to ride and drive safely mga kagulong and uh, i'll see you again next time bye